Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Last night during your service, someone said they had a good smell in here. And I didn't know that until this morning when I walked through here and uh, I called the pastor and I told the pastor and I said, there's a new set in the house. So I'm not sure what it's all about. And so I was standing over there and the Lord started showing me that it's the incense that each priest of the house carries. Pastor Brett, Pastor Deshaun. Last night you started smelling the blending of those. This morning as I come in, God showed me that the blending of the two incenses is going to be a different smell. Amen. It's going to cling to your clothes. And you're going to carry it out there. The smell that the Lord showed me 
is going to radiate through Hagerstown. Not only in Hagerstown, but in our families. Amen. Because I know all of us have unsaved loved ones. Yes. It's going to fill with that fragrance. This morning I watched people play in the water. I watched one move over so she could get into the water and play a little while herself. She said, I want some of what you guys said. Stand in there. All you got to do is stay there. To pick up on it. But as as I was looking around this morning, I was watching. I was kind of watching because there was people moving in around and, and you walk up and you move in a little closer to somebody, you're picking up something. You're picking up that fragrance and rubbing off. The fragrance needs to rub off not only in here, but out there. Amen. We need every gifting to start to come together and start to function in the, in the body. You know, we come down last Sunday for our eyes to be open and start seeing into the, into the spirit realm. Yes, Lord. I understand that you got to see a few angels here on yes. last night. Right. When I walked in, <coughs> they left shield behind. Right. And the shields the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. stuff like that, you know, take you back to childhood. We're still all supposed to be little children. So when you step into the, don't be a false anymore. Be little children. Step in and play in that stuff. Because there's, there's so much there we miss out on. We use our mind and it takes us away from being little children. So this morning we start to be, we just start to be like little children. Step into, step into what God has for you. Amen. Because that's what He calls us, little children. Amen. 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 That microphone. Come on now. 
It's a different kind of deliverance in how God is going to direct us. The deliverance is going to be an unlearning. The things we unlearn and the revelation that God's going to download into us is going to reveal the plans. Of, yeah, it's going to reveal the strongholds of the city. The city can't be taken over because the strongholds have not been fulfilled. Last week you spoke about a deliverance. It was burning in me. It was burning in me. I'm like, God, your faithfulness. To understand that he speaks to multiple people. That should signify the hand of God on this ministry. For two ministries to come together, for two ministries to come together, yeah. it's unheard of. Yeah. It's unheard of. That's how, that's how they know the hand of God is on them. So two humble, two humble men to come together, the hand of God is on this ministry. This is a training facility. Yep, yep, yep. This is a training facility. And what I'm doing right now, I'm stepping in faith. This is a bold 
face death because of the training facility and the anointing of this house. We all have to step into a place of uncomfort.
the man real fast because my head's all the time. <laughs> and he's, he's got a sneak in the But anyway, I wasn't even thinking about our new property where God wants us to have. But it was where Pastor had showed us and Pastor Kershawn. Um, there were angels in every around the whole thing. There was their white outfits, there was no color coming through at all. They were that packed that close around that property. Oh my God wants this to have. But I just want you to know, I mean, I wasn't even thinking about it. I prayed a lot about it. The finances, the favor, all of that. But, but you know, I was just down on 40,000 dollars for the good thoughts and here it went. So, don't quit praying. Amen. He's got us. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Because God 
God loves us. But I say this again. There are evil men working in the city to put your footprint to a stop. But God says, speed it up. Amen. I do. They can't eat you. Amen. We got your back. Amen. But God got the whole front. They got the Amen. Amen. And you can just believe it. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. is stronger. Everything that God's doing in each one of us is wrapped around another person. It's like we are, we're, we're one. And everything comes together. And Amen. that's what the Lord is doing here. He's bringing everything together. He's, he's bringing all of the gifts, all of the callings, all of the personalities, everything that everybody has to bring into this. Amen. He's bringing it together. He's knitting it together because the unity, the unity is where the strength is. The unity is where the growth is. The unity is where everything is going to explode. So don't let the enemy lie to you. Don't let him get in there. Don't let him pull the other person. And do not listen to one word of gossip. If someone starts talking, walk away. If you're wrong, that's okay. Do not listen to that word. Give God a praise. Uh, last night there was a word uh, for Pastor Terry Ann. And I didn't understand it until this morning. Pastor Terry Ann, can you come please? And the word last night, after we were having the, the service last night, the Holy Ghost moved so much and he was showing so many things. Yeah. But one of them, when he was talking to individuals, and I saw when he lifted, when Pastor Brett lifted his hands, 
And the Lord was saying something to him. I, I didn't quite understand what he was saying, but he was whispering and he spoke and he spoke. But then I saw Pastor Terry Ann, and then he looked, and she was standing out there to the door. But what I saw, I didn't understand it. It was this morning when I...
next Sunday that we may partake of each other, what the Holy Spirit has for us, and move into this marriage that we have been called into. Amen. Amen. Um, I'm going to hit on this again next week a little bit, but I'm going to touch it now. Pastor Bichon has a song up there, Waiting. The first song he started with last night dealt with the aim to be impressed by the Holy Spirit. And from memory, angels showed up with trumpets. One at each sanctuary door and one at the altar. An entourage came in. And this is where it really gets good. She saw like a cloak, a garment, one color that had ribbons all around it. And immediately I'm starting to engage. Say with me in your loudest voice, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. One, two, three. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God I believe that's what was going on last night. I didn't interject, I think. But I believe what you saw was the train of the Lord filling this place. And then this is what happened. The angels grabbed the hold of the garment and they spread it out. And the canopy of the Lord covered this house. Amen. Ooh, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, that's known as a kupa in Hebraic culture. It's called the wedding canopy. Yeah. I, I am not a, he, a student of Hebrew, ladies and gentlemen, but understand we are in the Feast of Tabernacles. A tabernacle or sukkut, that's when they would go outside under a canopy, live in a canopy, eat in a canopy. Next week, we are going to come together under the canopy of the Lord. And we are going to enjoy the Lord's Supper yes. as a body. Amen. There's also a covenant that I want to enter into next week. And if you know anything about covenants, ladies and gentlemen, you know they are vitally, vitally serious. Yes. Most cultures, especially us in the Western Hemisphere, we don't get it because contracts are broken all of the time. Mm -hmm. But understand this, you and I are partakers of a covenant that cannot be broken. That covenant was made in blood, amen. amen. That covenant was made in the shed blood of the Lord amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. You and I didn't make that covenant. We are partakers of it. Amen. And glory to God. It's unfortunate that we break our end of the covenant, ladies and gentlemen. We break fellowship with God. But understand, I can come back into fellowship with God because of the shed blood of the Lord yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So I'm like... Right now, a kid like a week outside of Christmas, man. Because I can't wait to get back here. I'm like, I wonder if I can take a whole week off without getting in trouble, you know? It's not going to happen. But anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're looking forward to starting this week. Okay. Is there anyone here this morning that would be Yes, ma'am. I, I don't actually need prayer, but you know that song that we talked about earlier, would it be okay if we, we listen to it before everybody left? I will put it on before we leave, yes. Thank you. Brother, you need prayer? Always. Can you, are you ready to come down here? Can you come down here? Sure. If you signed up on that board as part of healing, prayer, intercession, Stand to your feet. If you, if you signed up for prayer, healing, deliverance, intercession, that's good. Come on down here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you. We are no longer going to have blood.
blood issues. We are no longer going to have blood issues. You're going to start your party early. In the night in which the Lord was betrayed, he took bread, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples. You're a disciple of bread. You are a student of the Lord. I don't care where on that circle you are. You are a student of the Lord God. He gives you this day his body given to you. Everything that he has is yours. An exchange took place. Everything that's out of alignment with you, it was pinned to him. Amen. And everything that was him is now into you in Jesus' name. Total restoration from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. I decree total restoration in Jesus' name. Say to me. Thank you. 
Yes, babe. Yes. Thank you, brother. Prayer, deliverance, healing. Just lying, facing that way. Yes, sir. Just face the congregation. Just face the congregation. No, not behind me. <laughs> not behind me. Yeah, I, I get that. Decision to go home. Period. Yeah. Not 
choice is always yours. But understand, you do not have to be sick to go home.
going on, I will be asking these individuals to come forward to lay hands on them, to be open conduits for what's going on in the heavenly realms to cool those things down and loose them into this atmosphere right now. This house has been called a hospital long before I got here. And that's what Daddy wants it to be, and that's what, we, that's what it will be. As we go forward, I think that there is going to be a stronger, tangible experience of the Holy Spirit in this place. I have an expectation. Signs, miracles, and wonders start breaking out, but not only here, but in our hands when we go out there. Jesus. Boom, boom, boom. Amen. Amen. I just want you all to be familiar with faces and with groups. Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much. Thank you all. Real quick, if you signed up under the Christian Education Department, I'm going to ask you to come down here real quick. If you signed up for Christian Ed, come down here. Two areas I'll hit this morning. If you signed up for Christian Ed, please come down here and line up. checks out to the cutting edge, cutting edge ministries. Let me, let me explain. I don't have everybody here. So the corporation that Cutting Edge Ministries is under and the Corporate umbrella 
Okay? The Cutting Edge Ministries is under. The facility of God Hagerstown is under. It's called New Life Victory Center Church Incorporated. It's been incorporated for over 20 years. That is who the federal government recognizes as the 501c3. Okay? Banking has not been changed yet. That's a conversation that we're going to have with the trustees here in the near future among some other financial decisions to make that transition. We will have to change that name on our banking because that's the name to be used. Okay? We have rights to that name, as I told you weeks ago. We have trade name authorization from the state of Maryland to transact business under the city of God, Hagerstown. If you write checks out to that, the bank will reject it because it doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't know that yet. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that change has not occurred yet, but it will. Okay? Does that does that help with your understanding? Yep. Okay. All right. Just write C E M. Just write C E M one, guys. You don't even have to jump. It's cutting edge ministry. Okay? It's C E M. Yes. One more prayer request. Yes. Carson and Cam ask for a prayer. They are both under the weather. With Cough, fever. Hezekiah, would you mind praying for my grandsons? They're not feeling well. Could you do that for me? So I know you can. I know you can. Would you pray for them? Uh, Carson and Cameron. Carson and Cameron are their names. Can you pray for their healing for me? Sickness that is in um, Pastor Brett's grandsons, I bind it. Any evil disease that is coming, I bind it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 I'm going to be like you when I grow up. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh, like, that's the kind of easy to pray. You know what I'm saying? No quaking in the boots, no nothing. Just come on, man. Let's go. I, 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 I got to get back over here and get to my thoughts. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Brother, I'll let you play. All right? And you may bring your offerings down.
So again, you saw all the familiar faces. If that's you, there will be a meeting on October the 22nd for all of us. Um, October the 28th, there's a woman's meeting at 10 a.m. at the COG Hagerstown. That's the call, man. Okay, call. Uh, I'm just going to read it. I'm like, what's that? Okay, um, October the 29th, a meeting with the worship and prophetic after service. Amen. So if you want, you don't, don't come out of here and say you don't forget, you forgot what your meeting is. Take a picture, write it down. There it is. I remember my own. Um, That's good. Like me, <laughs> if you sometimes forget to get cash, we have a way you can give. You can text the keyword GIVE to 833-921-6897, and that connects you with you be able to like give from your bank card or something like that. I use that a lot because stopping to get cash can be hard. <laughs> that's the last one, Jimmy. Yeah. Yep, so that's you. the last one. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, man. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen her out there under the bus. I'm going to start pushing her out to you. She <laughs> needs to look at her. Okay. Uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, oh, I, uh, I, got I, I call it the call. I mean, just because it's easier sometimes. Hey. Oh, I'll trust you. Hey, I'll trust you. Hey, it is. Oh, and the call, I guess, 100%. Yes, ma'am. Sign-up sheet. Sign-up sheet. Sign -up Sign -up sheet. Oh, for the woman's. Oh, there you go, Esther. Uh -uh. Go ahead. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm sorry. I'm just playing. This I actually have signed all the women to sign up with you that are coming for the women's breakfast on the 28th. Amen. Amen. Sign up sheet outside. Listen, guys, I'm going to work something out for the groups that are meeting at the church. I know. Listen to me. The last thing any of us want to do is sit with me and have the service. Believe me, I know. The only thing I want to go home and do is sit and watch my dog stare at me <laughs> in the face like, what's wrong with him? All right? I know we're going to want to go home. I'll do my best to be streamlined, especially here in the beginning. Just push out some paid direction just to get things going. Amen. Okay. Um, we'll maybe look at also um, doing something as far as uh, filling our bellies while we're there, because I know it's a long gap. Some Sundays I don't eat, like this morning I didn't. I haven't had anything to eat since yes. yesterday afternoon. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not fasting, I'm just don't eat, okay? I'm not, but anyway, because that's a long time. That's a bridge to make fun of me. <laughs> he wanted to be fun of me. We're going to have a good time on the table. They're a date joke worse than we do. <laughs> you should have heard them last night. <laughs> what do you think about my coat? Can I coat? Yeah. Don't get used to it. Uh, no, don't get used to it. <laughs> In fact, I ain't wearing it. I ain't a... Yeah, I ain't wearing it next week. Don't get used to it. Like my buckle? Look at my best buckle. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is, ladies and gentlemen, I have what's called double up syndrome. You know what double up syndrome is? This, this is from my belly down when I feel my dog down. But anyway, I'm in mean, the dry. Hallelujah. Seriously. Um, yeah, talk, talk, talk to the membership that is not here. I, I, I mean, Daddy has a whole week. The Holy Spirit has a whole week to hover over this thing, guys. And I am truly expecting an explosion next week. And what he wants to do, what he has shown. What we did partake of this morning, again, we will do next week. Amen. Amen. Brother, do you have anything? You good? I'm going to send you forth in the wisdom of Almighty God. Ephesians 1 17 to 19 hovers over you now. The eyes of your understanding are open and enlightened. We are coming into full knowledge of his call over us. Amen. We move 
resurrection power of the Spirit of the living God. In Jesus' mighty name. And if you agree with that, shout them to the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, happy day.